Hi, it's eBay test equipment time. You know we love scoring a bargain on eBay, so let's take a look at one. Thank you very much to Gamer Paddy on the EV Blogger forum for pointing this one out. It's fantastic if you're not on the EV Blog forum test equipment section. Oh, biggest place in the world to discuss um, test equipment with other test equipment aficionados. But if you are a test equipment aficionado, trigger warning. Ha, get it? Ha! Trigger warning, I'm here all week. Trigger warning, seriously, um, you've been warned. We've got eBay.deutsch. Hi to all my viewers in Deutschland. Um, we've got a Tektronix MSO46, the 4 Series. Oh, what a bobby dazzler. 200 megahertz jobby. Look at this. Um, it's translated here. The item could only be tested for power supply. The display does not turn on. There is no information about full functionality. Only the device without, without accessories is sold. Scope of delivery, see pictures. Item has clear optical defects and traces. Scratches, impact marks, abrasions, soiling, discoloration, etc. Condition, see pictures. We might be in for a absolute bargain repair here, or as has happened to me many times, I've bought stuff sold with exactly this sort of description, um, as sold as faulty test gear on eBay, and it just it just works because they didn't know how to use it. So you never know when you might score a bargain. But uh, let's go up, and so this is uh, EMD. It's it's a big like um, surplus uh, equipment company by the looks of it. So get all your surplus gear. Um, as I said, trigger warning. Uh, uh, absolutely smashed screen. Look at that, but it gets better. Uh, <laughs> look at the back of it. <laughs> oh boy, the poor BNCs, the humanity. Good news is the handle's in great condition. Look at it at the top of the case, sides of the case. Excellent. Just a few scuff marks. It'll buff out. Uh, and <laughs> oh. At this point, you know it's not deliberate. It hasn't just like fallen off the bench and then just impacted something. No. Somebody's got the sledgehammer to this. A company has ordered that this equipment must be destroyed before it uh, is thrown out or, you know, auctioned off on the pallet of test gear. Because these companies just buy in instruments by the pallet load. And I, this is very deliberate. <laughs> and trust me, I've worked at companies where, yeah, you've got to destroy the equipment before. I might have a video coming up on that very shortly, actually. Uh, it'll be on the second channel uh, as well. But yeah, this is very deliberate. <laughs> Taking a hammer or something to each one of those Poor innocent B and C's. Oh my, look at it. Oh. oh F in the chat, please, for this poor innocent oscilloscope that probably had maybe nothing wrong with it. I don't know. Um, but for some reason they had to get rid of it. 6.5 gig samples per second. Oh leave your condolences in the chat down below. <laughs> And don't you just love the description? It's like, <laughs> item has clear optical defects and traces, scratches, impact marks. Impact marks are right from a freaking hammer. This is just sad. It really is. I wonder if this company actually has um, anything else. Oh, there's another. There's, a, there's another broken Tektronix. Is that a, is that a coincidence that it's a Tektronix? Oh, discoloration in the uh, Yuka Gower there. Um, another Tektronix. Knobs missing. Whoa, arbitrary function, Jen. Oh, we've found the new um, te Oh, there's a hay meg. Looks in good neck. Ooh, some old school Tektronix uh, digital ones looking pretty good neck. But an old ghoul digital oscilloscope. Oh, my goodness. Let's just search oscilloscopes. Uh, I've got to put uh, that spelling there. Oh, that Paul LaCroix there. Oh, it's come a gutter. Yeah, the same thing's happened to this poor Tektronix. Look at this. This has obviously come from the same company. We've got the smash screen and then, yeah, four vertical impacts on the BNC connectors. Oh my. Oh yeah, yeah, they smashed in the back as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one actually admits it is badly damaged. and <laughs> could not be tested further. <laughs> Pulled from working environment. <laughs> Anyone's had, had experience buying test gear on eBay knows what I'm talking about. 
Is Tetronix Arbitrary Waveform Gen? They haven't smashed the B and C's on that. So, uh, that's <laughs> certainly smashed the screen. This LaCroix here looks okay, functional, apart from the top on it. But yeah, smash test gear. It reminds me of um, Surplus Tech Mart, they're called. They're still going. They're an eBay store, but I searched them. And uh, they're, they're from Israel. And they famously, many years ago, used to sell this test gear that looked like they'd been run over by tanks. Like, deliberately smashed and destroyed and mangled. And the chassis would be bent and horrible, you know, and <laughs> discombobulated. Um, it was, yeah, it was horrible. But I couldn't find any recent examples on their store. So maybe they've gotten out of that... Uh, business and um this german company amd shop deutschland um is but it's not them doing this they just buy them by pallet loads and whoever's getting rid of this tectronics gear has deliberately destroyed these things oh good luck getting your 1500 euros for that um i i wouldn't even trust the main board inside like oh boy ah oh, breaks the heart anyway thoughts and comments down below catch you next time Thank <laughs> you.